My Gentile brothers and sisters, do not be alarmed because you are stronger than you know. You know me as Bravo von Mueller, and yes, I have taken on the role of your wartime consigliere. I am here to tell you how the enemy works. I am going to tell you secrets that, quite frankly, will alarm you. The powers to be and how they are obsessed with numbers, how they use the numbers against you. But do not be alarmed, my strong Gentile brothers and sisters, for we are stronger than even they know. There are powerful people behind the scenes. The battle has been in action for many, many months. As I have told you, the Donald Trump game was to pit the Gentile team of Steve Bannon against the Zionist team of Jared Kushner. And today, the outcome has been announced. Steve Bannon and the Gentiles have been fired and Jared Kushner and the Zionist team has won. What does this mean for you and I, and why was it announced today on the fifth day of the fourth month, this being the 17th year of the second millennium? So why was this huge announcement given out today. That's why I'm here today to share this secret with you. Why Jared Kushner and his Zionist family uses numbers against you. If you add up the fourth month, four, plus the fifth day, five, plus the seventeenth year, of the second millennium. If you add up the numbers 4, 5, and 17, you come up with 26. That just happens to be the number of their God, Yahweh. You see, they picked this number because this is the day they won. This is the day they took complete control of the White House. This is the day that the Gentiles were kicked out of the White House. I was not joking with you. I told you that Donald Trump was pitting the Gentile team up against the Zionist team. I was not joking. The sad fact is that the Zionists control the Federal Reserve banking cartel. They control every single dollar that's ever print printed. How could the Gentile team win? We had no chance. We had to lose. For God's sake. Or should I say, for Yahweh's sake, they control all the banks. When you go into the bank and ask them for a loan, you're talking to them, the Zionist. Just go Google the Federal Reserve Banking boss, the chairman of the board. The Gentiles have lost today for sure. But I do beg of you, to not be downtrodden. Do not think of yourself as a minority, for we are the majority. We are stronger than you can ever imagine. Just ask Siegfried and Roy. You see, the lion tamer, he's the Zionist, and he holds the whip, and he cracks it upon the Gentile lion, but I tell you, be strong. Be stronger than you think you are because you are stronger than that Zionist lion tamer. All he has is the whip. All he has is the Federal Reserve note. But we are the lion. We are the gentle Gentile lion. We are 300 million strong. And when we roar, when we roar, trust me, people will listen. But that's the whole secret, isn't it? Nobody will listen to the Gentile lion until we roar. And when we roar, when 300 million of us roar, trust me, we will get their attention. 
But until that day, we will just sit on the couch and we will have to live with the fact that Donald Trump despises us. He despises you and I. We are nothing more than the hired help to fire at will. You see, Donald Trump runs in Zionist circles at the country club. And this is what I ponder. How long will this Zionist system go on for? How long will it last? That's the question that I always ponder every day when I get up. How long will we be stuck in this master-slave matrix where the Zionist master cracks his whip upon the Gentile lion? How long will it last? I do not know the exact date. I do not know the exact time when my 300 million Gentile brothers and sisters will get off the couch and roar. Roar like the lion we are. I do not know that date. But I do know it's getting closer and closer and closer because the enemy is scared. When I see the fear in their eyes, I know that the time is near. For you see, not only are the Democrats afraid of us, so are the Republicans. In fact, there is no difference between the Democrats and Republicans. As I have said a thousand times before, they're just two wings. A left wing and a right wing of one ugly Zionist bird. Both of our parties are controlled by bankers. V.P. Pence, this is a happy day. V.P. Pence and his friends have won today. And the Gentiles have lost. One thing, if I could get through to Grandma and Grandpa in Indiana and Michigan and Ohio, if there was one thing I could drive into Grandma's head, Christian Grandma who goes to church every Sunday, and they vote for people like V.P. Pence and Paul Ryan when they say, Glory, hallelujah! These people you are voting for are not your friends. They are not the Gentile Christian friends. They are owned and operated and controlled by Zion. But we'll never get through to Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma and Grandpa will just have to pass away. And the younger generation who sees it. That's the optimistic part I'm going to tell you today. That the young people today, of the 20 year old young people, they do see that the bankers are evil. They do know who the bankers are. They do identify their names. Everybody knows who our master is. But you're not allowed to talk about it. And they use numbers against us. 26. They pick certain numbers. You see, they plan their agenda way in advance. Everything is planned out perfectly. Don't think that these happen by coincidence on this certain day. Everything they do, every false flag, everything they do, whether it be 9-11, I don't care what the date is, they plan for it for many, many months. Because they have nothing else to do. You see, these people don't have a job. They get, they get paid millions and millions of fake Federal Reserve notes, but they don't have a job. Like I've said before, they have a position. And those positions are not open to us real American Gentiles. No, only for the shills. If you're like V.P. Pence, and you get down on your hands and knees, and you go over to Israel, and you kneel before the wall, and you announce your allegiance to Bibi, well then, you'll get a job, you'll get a position, you'll be pushed up there. But for the rest of us Gentiles, as I have said a million times, we have to go out on the street and pick up the breadcrumbs. I'm sorry that today has to be the day that I have to announce that I fired Donald Trump. I tried to make this path. I knew this day was coming. And I tried to make this path, this moment, as painless as possible. 
I mean, we knew it was coming. As soon as Donald Trump came in and he put all those Goldman Sachs scum in positions of power, when he fired General Flynn, that was the precursor to the moment we are at today. I knew when, I, when he was putting, when he was making the swamp deeper, when he was putting Goldman Sachs scum in all the dark corners of the White House, when he was firing real American heroes like General Flynn, a Gentile, when the Gentiles were being thrown to the curb and the Zionist bankers were being put in the positions of power, I knew that that was a precursor for today when I stand before you and say that Trump has let us down. Trump has lied to us. This is the day that I, I fire Trump. I have no allegiance to somebody who is the enemy. If you're going to be my enemy, if you're going to stab me in the back and laugh at me, I don't have to stand here and take it. No. This is the day that we kick Donald Trump to the curb. You see, that's the weird part. There are powers to be behind the scenes. We know what they look like. We know that they use numbers against us. We know that they think they're smarter than us. We know that they think they're so clever that they're small, little, tiny numbers. What are they? Point zero, 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 one. They're so tiny, but they think they're so clever that they can control 300 million Gentiles by cracking the whip. Just by firing General Flynn. They throw General Flynn to the curb. They don't have any loyalty to us. And now they throw Steve Bannon to the curb. These people, behind the scenes, we know what they look like. They're not that smart. They remind me of Siegfried and Roy. Everybody knows who Siegfried and Roy was. The famous lion tamers of Las Vegas. And they cracked that whip upon the lion for years and years. This is what this reminds me of that Siegfried and Roy and the Zionists are playing with a dangerous lion, a lion that is 300 million strong. How dare you? How dare you, such a small, pathetic group of morons and idiots, think that you're going to control 300 million of my brothers and sisters? Ha! And you laugh at us as you come out of the building 666, and you announce it on the number of the 26th, and you think your God, Yahweh, will protect you. How dare you? How dare you? We are not stupid. We may be in a coma. We may be self-medicating. We may be on antidepressants. We may be down, but we're not out. I tell you, be, beware. I tried to warn you. I told you. I told you to come to the negotiating table. Come to the table. And we will dictate terms. Don't ever forget this. When the day comes, the 300 million Gentiles, when the day comes that we roar, we will dictate the terms. I tried to warn you. Come to the table now. Negotiate the surrender of half of your stolen loot. That's all we want. Us 300 million Gentiles who are pricked picking up the breadcrumbs right now. All we want is half of the stolen loot that you have stolen from the American empire through the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel. Give us half of everything you've stolen and it will be a peaceful transition of power. That's what I told you to do, but you're not listening. Donald Trump apparently does not listen to my videos, or he does not pay it any heed. He does not pay my warning any heed. And so he goes to the country club with his Zionist friends, and he thinks, oh, we will get the jobs back. We will turn back the trend of 100 years of the Zionist banking cartel ripping the heart out of the American soul by taking the factories to China. I can change that trend. I am Donald Trump, and all my friends are Zionist bankers. I can bring those jobs back. No, you're not going to. Today is the day that we fire Donald Trump. But make no mistake about it, we do not regret 
We do not regret for one moment supporting Donald Trump because it was the right thing to do to stop the witch, Hillary, from coming into power. That's the only reason why we backed up Donald Trump was to stop the witch. But we have been lied to. We have been played. Donald Trump was not the savior that middle America thought he was. Donald Trump is not the man who's going to bring back all the jobs from China. No, he may give you a bartender job. He may give you a waiter's job. And there you will sit as a waiter or a waitress and you will be serving Jared Kushner and his friends. But that's all you're going to get, a waiter's job. You'll be a servant to 666. And it was only a few weeks ago that I made a video of Donald Trump's first two huge mistakes in office. Not only in the White House for two months, and he had already made two big mistakes. Now this is the third huge, and I mean huge, mistake. This Donald Trump knows how, does not understand how big of a mistake this is. By going with VP Pence and the Zionist team and firing Steve Bannon, this is the third big, big mistake. I will say this. Every great, successful president has always put the vice president in a dark corner to go play with himself. This, you see, this mistake of firing Bannon is so big, it, it, it encompasses so many issues. It's not just, it's just not firing Steve Bannon. We're talking about a vice president who should be in a dark corner playing with himself. And this vice president is now in dangerous territories with a Zionist team. Donald Trump either is very, very stupid, naive, or Donald Trump is the enemy. Donald Trump, this is just sad. This is so sad that it had to work this way. Today we fire Donald Trump because VP Pence, Jared Kushner, they have won. But I do have a message for VP Pence, Jared Kushner, all his Zionist friends. I have a message for you. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. You should very well ponder that all day long. If Jared Kushner is brave enough to listen to my videos, and we do know that the enemy listened to us, the, the enemy monitors us, but if they're brave enough to ponder that all day, then I will say maybe they're smarter than they look. Yes, be careful what you ask for, because when you're going to be the master of 300 million Gentiles, and you're going to smack us down with your Zionist whip, and that makes you happy. And you're going to announce it on 26, the number of your God, Yahweh. Be careful. Just be careful. Because things may not work out like you plan. Let's have a recap. Let's have a recap of what we have discussed today. That there were, were warnings. There were many, many warnings to today's announcement that the Gentile lion Steve Bannon was kicked to the curb. There were warnings. The precursor was when Donald Trump fired the Gentile General Flynn. When Donald Trump brought in the Goldman Sachs banking scum and he let them lurk in the deepest, darkest corners of the White House where they snuck in to the American Empire's treasury to take what's left of a broken banking system. It is very sad. It's so sad to watch an American empire drop to its knees like a clown as a Zionist lion tamer cracks the American empire clown. They whip us and they snap the whip. And that's how I see America falling now. As all our factories are over in China, we have been reduced to a great lion. A great honorable lion that's locked up in a cage. 
We are participating in an open-air prison where we walk around and we pick up breadcrumbs and we roar as the Zionists crack their whip upon our nose. But this is where I get off the Trump train. When they pick a day like this, the fourth month, the fifth day, the seventeenth year, and it adds up to twenty-six, which is no coincidence that that is the number of their God, Yahweh. And they pick this number to throw our Gentile brother, Steve Bannon, to the curb. This is the day I get off the Trump train. I am not ashamed of supporting Trump. I will reiterate, I will repeat for the 100th time, we have nothing to be ashamed of. We supported Trump so the Hillary, the witch Hillary, could not walk into the White House for one more second appearance, third appearance, and bring America down faster. I do believe that Hillary would have brought us down faster. Maybe in hindsight, Maybe that would be better. The faster we fall, the faster we get back up. Beware of VP Pence. Beware of Jared Kushner. Beware of the Zionist bankers. Beware of them. They are not your friend. They live in country clubs. They fly on private planes. They talk to only the richest foreigners. If you're a Sa Saudi prince, if you're a European king, if you're a banker from the Euro, if you're a banker from Japan, they will talk to you. If you're a Gentile, you will serve them at the table. You will bring the wine to them, and you had better have a smile on your face. Because if you don't have a smile on their face, that will, that will make them sad. And they do not want to be sad. They want to be, they want to be smiling and happy and go to the country club. And they want to pretend that the world is their oyster. Well, I get off this oyster. I get off the Trump train today. On the fifth day of the fourth month of the 17th year of the second millennium, I am now jumping off the Trump train. And you can take your God, Yahweh, and you know where you can shove him.